they believed, we believed for most of the day at least. And finally, England have won the Cricket World Cup for the first time. Victory came after what has to be one of the most dramatic endings to any tournament. The game finished as a tie, leading to a super over in a World Cup final. That's the first time ever. And Joss Butler ran out Martin Guptill with the final ball, ensuring England won by virtue of hitting more boundaries over the course of the game. Good evening, we start with some major breaking transfer news. Liverpool have agreed a deal with Southampton for the transfer of Virgil van Dijk for a fee that will be a world record for a defender. A reminder of the breaking news this hour. England have won the third Ashes test at Headingley by one wicket, thanks to one of the great innings from Ben Stokes. 135 not out. You mentioned Andrew Flint off there in 2005, Shades as well in both in 1981. I mean, how does what Ben Stokes has done today compare to those two, particularly to, to Serene at the same grounds? Sterling, he has called for severe punishment for this and it's looking quite likely he might get some. Well, UEFA have opened disciplinary proceedings against Montenegro, a range of charges relating to crowd disturbance, but one of those is indeed for racist behaviour with the UEFA president. Alexander Seferin saying today that the chants were a disaster. Sterling initially confronted it by cupping his hand to his ear when he celebrated his goal in that 5-1 win. And then after the game, tweeting, best way to silence the haters, and yeah, I mean racist. I was scared. I just couldn't wait to get sleep at night, but I didn't want to wake up in the morning. You're trapped in a, in a cage and you're trying to get out and it just keeps getting smaller and smaller and there's just no way out of it. This was what remained of Chris Kirkland by the end of his professional career. Do you think that there are senior players, well-known players in the game at the moment that would be struggling with something similar? I'd be amazed if they're not. Jürgen, it wouldn't be this club in this city without a bit of drama, would it? <laughs> yeah, obviously. So we take that, we take that into an idea, but a drama was needed, obviously. How significant do you think it is that England have been there at the Commonwealth Games last year? They've done it, they've got over the line, having seen for so many years it be always Australia and New Zealand. 100%. I'm, I'm not just saying this will be the closest World Cup ever, it will be. Good afternoon, welcome along to what is effectively the sixth unofficial test, where the standard is a lot lower than we'll be seeing at Edgbaston, which is just over there tomorrow. I'm mediating between the Australian fans and the Barmy Army, the England fans as well. We're going to make our guests wait for just a moment. Come to the England supporters first. We've heard Tim Payne speaking this afternoon about he's not worried about the Edgbaston atmosphere. Would you care to counter that? Um, I've got a feeling that Tim Payne might come to regret those words in a few days' time.